Hello everyone, welcome back to CCNP IPv6 class lab. Guys, this lab is very, very important. The reason is a new generation of IP addressing and you have to understand the topology. And this lab, I made sure there are lots of lots of concepts included in IPv6. So in this lab, there are four routers. R1 is a PC router, so it's acting as a PC client. In other words, it's a SLAAC client, stateless auto configuration. R2, R3, R4, they are routers. And between two and three, there's a static IP. And between three and four is a EUI 64-bit address. I'm, I have a couple of loopbacks. The loopbacks are in different, different areas. So some loopbacks are in area zero, some loopbacks are in area one, some loopbacks are in area two. By default, IPv6 is disabled on these routers. So you have to enable IPv6 routing on R2, R3, and R4. And I'm asking you to configure R2, R3, R4 as below. Then I'm saying R1, number three, I'm saying R1 is a Slack client. When you look at the diagram, you will see I, I have not included any IPv4 addresses. The only time I'm going to introduce IPv4 addresses is when I want to configure the route ID. So unless OSPF v3 has a IPv4 route ID, the OSPF will not start. So I will show you that one, then we will configure the route ID. Then number five, I'm asking you to check the neighbor table, topology table and routing table in B6. Then finally, I'm asking R2 should be able to ping R4 loopback one. It is in area two. So the hint is virtual link. The reason area two is not connected to area zero. So between router three and router four, making area one as a transit area, I should be creating a virtual link. The configuration is almost similar to version four virtual link. Then I'm asking you to configure, I'm asking you to ping every loopback and link from R1. Guys, this lab is from many advantage. And again, welcome to the lab. We are going to start the lab. So I have a GNS setup already. The, in the GNS setup, I have all the routers connected. And also I have a party session open here. I have party to all the routers, so R1, R2, R3, R4. So we are going to go from scratch. So let's start from R2. So we know IPv6 is disabled on a router, but I'm going to, I'm going to type IPv6 unicast routing. So this command enable IPv6 routing functionality and this command forces the router to send router advertisement messages, sometimes called RA messages. You can use debug to find out that one. On R and also here I will type interface fast ethernet zero zero ipv6 address two zero two one double colon two slash sixty four so i'm looking at the diagram to type this one then i will type no shot and also i'm saying there is an interface fa01 with an ip address of two zero two three double colon two slash sixty four ipv6 address two zero two three double colon two slash sixty four then there is a there are two loopback addresses on r2 i type no shot interface loopback zero ipv6 address two double colon two slash it should be sixty four guys it's not twenty four then interface loopback one IPv6 address 22 double colon 22. Okay, some of them I am putting slash 64 bit mass, some of them slash 128. So we'll make it as 128. So you kind of have 24 as a mask, it should be slash 64 guys, okay? So if I type right now, everything is done. So I've, I want to enable OSPF on this route, otherwise let's wait. So if I type show IPv6 interfaces, I did not enable, so this mean all node group, all router group, and you have solicited node multicast address. So this is the solicited node multicast address of R2 that is used on dad dad function duplicate address detection function so guys when you do the theory you will know all of these ones i don't want to go much into the theory right now we are focusing on the lab let's go to router 3 config t 
interface FA01, IPv6 address 2023 double colon 3 slash 64. I'll type no shut. Interface FA00, IPv6 address 2034 double colon slash 64. EUI 64 so remember after double colon I'm not typing anything so when I don't type anything that means I'm doing EUI 64 bit address then I'm going to type no shot there are two loopbacks interface loopback 0 IPv6 address 3 double colon 3 slash 64 then interface loopback 1 IPv6 address 33 double colon 33 slash Let's go down to figure out the, okay, there is no loopback uh, one, so I don't want to type that one. Then I will type no interface loopback one, I don't want that loopback. So finally, let's go to R4, it has only one loop, uh, it has two loopbacks in R4. Let's configure R4. So I'm, I'm making R4 visible. So right, right now, guys, on R3, if I type show IPv6 interfaces, Even I can be more specific. Show IPv6 interfaces FA01. So I have hard coded the IP addresses here. So you are seeing hard coded IP address as this is my hard coded global address. And it's coming up on link local addresses. So we have to, so in the link local address, when you see, you are saying FFFE. So this is the padding so this is the padding added so you take the mac address it take add the padding then so we have to understand how how this has been taken place i think uh, when you do the theory you will understand how is generate this fe 80 double colon so you take the interface id so generated interface id and it put fe 80 so I want to show you other one to zero zero is a link local. Uh, it is a EUI 64 bit format address. Okay, then zero zero. Look at this one guys, two zero three four. Again, is an interface ID. It just take the interface ID to put its own IPv6 addresses. So I didn't type this one. So it says subnet is EUI 64 bit format address. So that means you don't know exactly what the IPv6 address is taking unless you go and do the calculations. So let's go to R4 and enable config key IPv6 unicast routing. That's important. Interface fast Ethernet 00. IPv6 address 2034 double colon slash 64 EUI64. No shot, that's important. Then interface loopback zero. When I'm looking at the diagram, is going to be IPv6 address 4 double colon 4 slash 128. Then interface loopback 1 is going to be IPv6 address 44 double colon 44 slash 128. I'm looking at the diagram guys. So there are a couple of commands available. You can type show IPv6 interface brief, similar to whatever you type for IPv4. So it, it tells me two loopbacks. And if you look at, again, the link local address, the interface identifier is same. So it doesn't matter whether it has one interface to interface is is going to take one of the fast ethernet zeros or if it has a ethernet interface it take the mac address otherwise it take the system mac address to generate the interface id but you will always see the ff after three so you might see this one ffe so you know mac address is uh okay for example if i type show interface fast ethernet zero slash zero include bia So we can figure out which one is taking and also if I type FA01 so they both have this zero mean there are three four zeros so it's kind of concurrent so 
technically the MAC address is a four digit num like 12 hex characters so in this case your yeah, FFFE is added right after 13 that's right then 98 it taking this 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 one the lowest Ethernet zero MAC address so it is not one zero there must be a total of four zero so if I want to be more if you want to go more detail into this one guys zero 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 but we have to understand this FFFE is added then let's take the MAC address guys one more time here yeah you're seeing the interface ID C204 but in fact this is not the real MAC address so let's we have to take the MAC address Look at this one guys so it became c0 here but here it became c2 so that's a 7 bit conversion so it's converting it's is putting so instead of 0 it just takes uh, the 0 is putting as c so c will become we should know 1010 zero, one zero is this is 10 a so basically what's happening is instead of 0 this 7 bit is inverted to get the number 2 here again guys in the theory part we are going to study this one so right now the focus is lab let's let's get get, get on to the lab right now so everything is configured i'm going to enable ospf on router 1 is going to act as a pc let's make it as a pc to make it as a pc what i had to do i had to go to that interface interface fa00 I type one command IPv6 address auto config. Guys, in the CCI level, just understand what's the meaning of default, but I'm not going to type the default. I will type IPv6 address auto config and no shaft. Just see, I'm not typing. If I type show run pipe include IPv6, I'm not typing the command IPv6 unicast routing. I have the only command IPv6 address auto config. But on R2, I think I type IPv6 unicast routing let's check yeah i have ipv6 unicast routing it shows me all the addresses i type so we are going to enable ospf on r2 so config t just see the way to enable ospf you can go to interface fa00 and type ipv6 ospf process id then keyword area then you can type area id so this is going to be ospf area zero it's going to give me an error he says you cannot pick a router id because we don't have no ip so what i'm going to do on every router very first command i'm going to go to ipv6 router ospf one is a process id then i'm going to type a command router id is 1.1.1.1 so that way, even though there is no 111 is present, I'm just defining a route ID. Then I will, I can go to, I can enable OSPF interface F400 IPv6 OSPF1 area 0. Then I'll go to FA01 IPv6 OSPF1 area 0. So this is the way you enable OSPF guys. Then I'll go to interface loopback 0 IPv6 OSPF1 area 0. Then I'll go to interface loopback 1, IPv6, OSPF1, area 0. So what I did, I enabled OSPF on all the interfaces. I can type, if you want, I can type show run pipe include into IPv6. So it's a very powerful command. When you do CCIE level troubleshooting, it's, give, it's going to give you IPv6 addresses. And also uh, it is part of what uh, the interface is part of any area of any, any routing protocols very powerful commands hello guys let's check this command to show run section ipv6 yeah so it also is a different format so formats are different but you can get different different commands so let's configure r3 we are going on a good speed guys so r3 i want to make sure i have made it as a router so to make a router make a router i want to type ipv6 you just see i didn't type ipv6 unicast routing command so ipv6 unicast routing 
So I, you must make sure that command is enabled because that's the command make the route make it as IPv6 router. Okay, so now we can. There are three interfaces we are going to enable: OSPF, IPv6 router, OSPF1. I will say router ID 3.3.3.3. .3 .3 .3. I hope I made as two. Just see here is okay, but I want to make it perfect too. I will say IPv6 router OSPF1 router ID 2.2.2.2. It's not one. Then I can type end clear IPv6 OSPF process. So whenever you change the router ID, you must type that command. Let's come to R3. So router ID is done. I'll type exit interface FA01 IPv6 OSPF1 area 0 then other two other two one interface FA00 is going to be part of area 1 same thing interface loopback 0 is also area 1 guys right if everything is good I should have the OSPF neighbor so let's first ping 202 Two three double colon two. I'm pinging R two. I'm pinging so OSPF should be coming anytime too soon or maybe it's already up. Show IPv6 OSPF neighbor. Yeah, it's still two way draw though. So let's give time. Let's configure R four. Okay, R four has three interfaces. As I said, you had defined the route ID. Before that, did I make it as a router? Show run pipe include IPv6. I want to see the command call IPv6 unicast routing. Yeah, I have that one. So config T interface FA00 IPv6 address IPv6 OSPF1 area 1 interface loopback 0. Did I configure the route ID? Yeah, I, I have I have not configured the route ID. That's the problem right now. So IPv6 router OSPF1 router ID 4.4.4.4 exit interface FA00 IPv6 OSPF1 area 1 interface loopback 0 IPv6 OSPF1 area 1 interface loopback 1 it's very important ipv6 ospf1 area 2 so this is the this is the router you need a virtual link this particular loopback 0 if i type show run pipe include inter 250 inter ipv6 guys i use heavily these commands in my ccie troubleshooting command so it's very very important compare debug command i rely on show commands heavily just see guys, IPv6 unicast routing, loopback 0, loopback 1, fast ethernet 0, 0. Fast ethernet 0, 1, I don't have anything because there is nothing. So right now guys, everything should be up right now. If I go to R3, I should have two OSPF neighbors. So command wise, okay, let's go back to the questions and see what the question says. Okay, so we have done number 4. And also we made number three. I want number three is a Slack client. So I want to check four, five and number three. So let's go to our router. Go to router one. How do I know it's working? So let's type the command show IPv6 interface. Fast Ethernet 00. I didn't, you had to understand I didn't type any addresses. So it says it took the IP address 2021. And it's putting a default router as this guy. So that means right now R1 R1 says my default gateway is my default gateway is R2 link local address. So this address is R2 link local address. So without doing any any routing, I should be able to ping R2 interfaces right now if everything is good. Just say this is R2 loop back zero, then ping. No, I should be ping, I should be able to ping everything right now. 22 double colon 22 ping. 3 double colon 3 ping 33 double colon 33 this is router 3 okay there, there is no 33 guys ping 4 double colon 4 I should be able to ping 4 but I should not be able to ping 44 
double colon 44 because we need a virtual name for that one okay so we are going to check that one so very powerful command to see if a slack client is working is show ipv6 interface fa00 so it, the very important thing you have to understand it it has a link local address it took the group so basically it took the ra message route advertisement message it took the the very first network ID, then it uh, appended its uh, EUI64 interface identifier to get his own. So it should say the lifetime, how much time is valid, and what's the subnet. The subnet is advertised by router advertisement message. And also, dad is attempted once, duplicate address detection, and the default router. If I type show IPv6 route, I'm not finding anything guys okay so if i go to r3 let's check all the all the table r3 should have a couple of uh, two neighbors show ipv6 ospf neighbor you will not see much difference because it's exactly like v4 so route neighbor neighbor address is v4 address then exactly same and also you can type show ipv6 ospf database this is the OSPF topology table, exactly same as your IPv4. There's no major major difference. So finally, show IPv6 route OSPF. This is a routing table. The only thing, just very important to note, the next stop address in the dynamic IPv6 routing protocol is not the real IPv6 address, but it is a link local address of the neighbor. So just to keep in mind, guys, the, that's one of the importance of link local address. And we are not hard coding link local address we are letting the routers to automatically select so guys right now everything looks good except that 4444 so between r3 and r4 we are going to create a virtual link so let's go even just see r3 is not getting r4 out because uh, it's not working so show run section IPv6. I want to know is what's the OSPF process ID. It says OSPF process ID is one. I can say config T. I'll better go to this uh, process ID. If you type a question mark, it tells you all the commands you can type on in OSPF. So if you do CCI studies, I fully recommend to go through all these commands. But our our main command is area one virtual link the router force route ID. I will do the same thing on router 4 also guys show run section ipv6 i want to know what's the process id i don't want the process id is one so config t ipv6 router ospf1 area one virtual link i'm going to get that message message says one side is configured as virtual link other side is not configured as virtual link Guys, I'm hoping it's a very informative informative about this IPv6. I'm not making you guys bored. So guys, again, these are very important things. Right? Just see, like as soon as I type, the neighbor came up. So I'll go to R3. R3 should have three OSPF neighbors. Let's check show IPv6 OSPF neighbor. That's right. It has neighbor through normal FA00 and it has neighbor through virtual link. And also another command is show IPv6 OSPF virtual links. I think when we did the normal OSPF, I typed the command show IP OSPF virtual link, but this time I'm putting IPv6 virtual links. Again, it must be up and up, and there must be a message saying adjacent is stateful, hello suppressed. It is up and up. I'm going to look at that special keyword, adjacency stateful, hello suppressed. So right now, guys, the lab is most of the time is done if i go to r3 if i type show ipv6 route ospf i should see my yeah i'm going to see everything right now 44 also let's go to r1 and let's try to ping everything i want to bring back so let's go to let's check all the commands and finally let's do the pinging guys okay
Okay, how do I know what commands I typed on R4? So I'm going to make it big now. So this is the diagram. I think uh, you should be drawing the diagram on a piece of paper and just make sure you understand everything. I'm going to make it big. An R4 show run pipe into IPv6. Again, your simulate exam simulator is not my work, but if you're going to do any CCI studies, so you know exactly all the commands you type. And also in addition to that, I can type show run section ipv6 is going to show you the router ospf command yeah so ipv6 router ospf so i'm going to type the same command on all the routers guys show run pipe include inter ipv6 yeah i have ipv6 unicast routing enabled and i'm seeing all the command and also section ipv6 and you have, I have documented everything in the notepad uh, document or PDF document. Show run pipe into IPv6. If I type show IP interface brief, you will not see anything. If I type show IP interface brief, I'm not going to see anything. There is no IPv4 addresses configured on any of the router. Show IP interface brief. Okay, let's go to R1. So let's go to R2 and check all the all the routing. Show IPv6 OSPF neighbor. It has one neighbor. Show IPv6 OSPF database. OSPF topology table. Then show IPv6 route OSPF. Just see, it tells me I'm receiving everything IA route. So in V6, in iOS, it's represented as OI route. In V4, it is IA route. So OI and IA, it translate to inter-area route. That means coming from a different area. And look at the administrative distance, still 110, then metric is same. The only difference is the next stop is the link local address. And finally, guys, final show command here is show IPv6 interface. I can say separately fast Ethernet 00. It tells you what if the interface is up up, what's the link local address, what's the global address, what's the subnet, and what multicast addresses this particular interface has joined, how many times ICMP messages are sent about the duplicate address detection process, route advertisements are sent. Just see, route advertisements are sent every couple of seconds, so that means every three minutes roughly. So it can be changed, guys, but it's not recommended to change. In the CCI level, you'll be studying how to change and all those ones. So, guys, now finally on router one. Finally on router one. So, what I want to show is show run pipe include into IPv6. Just see, there is on, there is no IPv6 unicast routing. Remember, SLAAC stateless address auto configuration client. You should not type IPv6 unicast routing. Because when you type IPv6 unicast routing, you are enabling or you are making that as a router. So it is not a router, it's a PC, but you must have a command called IPv6 address auto config. If I type show run section IPv6, there is no process because there is no OSPF running. Show IPv6 OSPF neighbor is not a router, so I'm not going to see anything. But I should be able to ping everything. Ping 44 double colon 44. Before I was not able to ping. Now I am pinging. So that means my virtual link is working. Four double colon four. Three double colon three. Two double colon two. Twenty two double colon twenty two. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the lab. This is the IPv6 lab. See you guys soon in different lab or it, my next lab will be redistribution lab. Again, good luck in your studies. Watch the video and do the lab a couple of times until you're okay with IPv6. And also concentrate, concentrate on the class notes and make sure you understand IPv6. Again, good luck in your studies, guys.